Hello my friends, I'm Brett Larkin. If you're a busy mom of an infant, my baby's six months old at the time of recording this, or maybe you have multiple children at home, this is a quick practice that you can do when they're sleeping or just before you're getting other stuff done that you need to do around the house. Let's get started. It's time to feel uplifted. To begin, come into child's pose. I always like to take a uh, child's pose with the hands at prayer above my head. This is called Guru Pranam. And rest my forehead into the floor or a block and just take five to 10 deep breaths here to get grounded as a way to begin. So inhale, fill up your low back with breath. Exhale out the nose or mouth. Two more like that, inhaling. Getting broader across the back body and then exhale, sink deeper into your mat. A few more on your own. I like to think of this time as a moment where I stop being a mother and a daughter and a wife and a friend and all the different roles I play and I really just dip into this idea of myself as a spiritual being. This is time purely for you, for your essence, to get connected to your satnam, your true identity. And as you feel your third eye pressure into the floor of the block, see if you can Go a few layers deeper than what's going on in your day-to-day -day hustle. What's true for you right now? What are you grateful for right now? What needs to shift right now? And continue to lengthen and slow down the breath. Good, and then Press the palms into the mat, spread the, spread the fingers wide. Mm -hmm. Press down through the index finger, knuckle and thumb and inhale, come up to table, all fours. And then shift back into downward facing dog, pedaling out the legs. Down dog always feels like such a delicious treat <laughs> when you haven't practiced for a while or you don't have a lot of time for yourself. Just enjoy this dog, bend one knee and then the other. Keep the breath long and slow and luxurious. Good, and then raise the right leg to the sky. Bend the knee, stack the hips. Come on to releve on that left foot. So lift up onto the ball of the left foot so the heel is high. And then exhale, press the left heel back down. Your right leg's in the air. So inhale, lifting the left heel. Exhale, press it down. Two more, inhale, lift, exhale, press, inhale, lift, exhale, press. Good, this time inhale, left, step the right foot between the hands, coming into a high lunge. Good, interlace the thumbs, bend the elbows so you have a wide diamond shape around the face. Take the heart back, elbows back, deep breath in. Mm, bend deeper into the front knee. Maybe take your gaze slightly up. One more huge inhale. Then as you exhale, let that back knee drop to the floor. Take the right hand to the hip or a block or the floor alongside you. Left arm up and over, a big side body stretch. Breathe into the left side ribs more, more, more than you think you can. Good. And then take the hands to the inside of the right foot, transitioning this into lizard. So heel, toe, the right foot wide, heel on the mat, toes on the floor, carpet in your house, and just sink down can come up onto the palms like I am, or if you like to descend onto blocks or take elbows or forearms to the ground, you can. Here I just like to indulge in a little bit of juicy movement. 
And I don't particularly like this stretch, but I force myself to do it. It's the quad stretch. So you can double up your mat if you like, get some padding for that left knee. You can also just stay in lizard if that's your preference. Left hand wide to the outer corner of your mat. Bend the back left knee. If you're doing it with me, reach the right arm behind. Hold the pinky toe side of the foot. Press the foot into the hand and the hand into the foot and then spin the chest towards the ceiling. Notice if your pelvis is really sinking towards the floor with no muscular engagement. So watch the difference between being here and here. You're squeezing your inner thighs together here gently. Deep quad stretch. Last breath. Good. Let that go. We'll all meet in lizard, or maybe you stayed in lizard. Heel toe the right foot all the way to the left hand and sink into pigeon. Inhale, open the chest. And exhale, fold forward. I like to put a head, uh, my head on a block here. And soften the shoulders and the jaw. Melt into that right hip. So use your breath here. Inhaling, inflating the right hip more than you think you can on the inhale. Exhale completely. Let the bones of the body get heavier. So as the mom, as the kind of queen of the household, our energy ripple ripples through the rest of our family. So getting grounded, really worthwhile. That's why my personal practice, when I only have a little bit of time, I'm really focusing on grounding as much as I want to work out. I know it's these long, deep breaths, a little bit of longer holds in the poses that are going to really shift my energy in a way that's going to make a huge impact for me and the people I love. Last deep breath here. Good. And of course, I want to get a little bit of a workout in too. So from our pigeon, we're going to step back into a plank pose. So you can come to dog first and then rock forward to plank. Come on down to the forearms and just challenge yourself here in a forearm plank. So if this is new to you, just doing the static hold might be enough. If you do kundalini yoga with me or you want to intensify, you can add breath of fire to this uh, forearm plank. Keep it going, press the heels back. Make sure the shoulders are directly over the elbows. A lot of energy out the back of the legs, so the heels are really pushing back as hard as you can. Legs are strong, engaged. And the breath of fire is totally optional. If you need to take a break, you drop the knees and you come back in as you're ready. If you don't have a lot of time for core work, this uh, breath of fire is a great way to sort of intensify whatever core work, core stretches you are doing. Last 20 seconds here. That's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Mm, come into Sphinx. Mm, roll the shoulders back. Nice, huge, deep breath. Good, and then press it back. Downward facing dog. Pedal through the legs. Maybe feeling a little woken up after that core work. You got your core work in today, good job. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Bend the knee, stack the hips. And coming on to releve now on that right foot. So lifting the right heel high. Exhale, press it down. Two more, inhale. Exhale, press the right heel down. And again, and I lied, we actually need to do 
One more coming up to releve, and this time step the left foot between the hands. Here we go with our high lunge. So coming up, see if you can find that opposite interlacing of the thumbs. Press the elbows back, shoulder blades glide down the back. Deep breath here. So just challenge yourself, go as low as you can. If that back knee needs to be bent, that's fine. Otherwise, really kick through the back heel. Draw the navel up and in. Think of your hips moving towards your chin as you drop the tailbone down. Three more deep breaths here. Good, and then on your exhale, back knee comes to the mat. Take that left hand to the hip, floor or block. Right arm reaches up and over, big side stretch. Especially if you carry your baby or your kids on your hip, which you probably do like me. These side stretches, so important, they just feel amazing. Mm, good, and then take the hands to the inside of the left foot, heel toe that left foot wide, coming into your lizard stretch. Press into the palms, you can be up on the fingertips, coming down onto the elbows. Whatever feels good to you, just rock a little bit side to side, getting into the inner groin. Whatever feels good to you here. Nice, and then fold over the mat. If you did the quad stretch on the other side, we'll repeat that here. So right hand wide to the upper right corner outside your mat. Left arm reaches the bent uh, right foot, right knee, and press hand into foot, foot into hand. Draw the pelvic floor up and in, right? So no droopy uh, pelvises. Engagement between the inner thighs. Spin the heart up and keep kicking hand, uh, foot into hand and hand presses into foot. Three deep breaths. You can always choose to stay in lizard too, totally fine. Good, and then we'll release that as you're ready. We'll all meet lizard, heel toe the left foot to the right hand and sink in for your pigeon stretch. Inhale, opening the chest. Any props you need, exhale, folding forward. I like that head on a block. Enjoy the silence. And if there's not silence around you, see if you can drop into an inner sense of calm, stillness. I'm going beneath the surface of the mind. Gently press yourself up as you're ready. Take that back leg, circle it around. We're gonna come into just a really brief seated meditation and some pranayama. So first thing, breath of fire, uh, ego eradicator. So arms at 45 degrees. So this is 90, this is 30. You really want 45 degrees, arms back. Fingers in, thumbs out. And breath of fire, if you don't know it, I'll link a tutorial right here and below the video so you can get more familiar with it later. Uh, but basically, it's a sharp staccato exhale through the nose. The inhale is passive. So deep breath in. 
and out. Inhale just halfway and begin. So you're pulling the navel back into the spine. I like to think of my belly button like an elastic band that I'm snapping back <laughs> towards the very back of my spine each time I exhale. So the inhale is passive. So don't focus on the inhale, just focus on the exhale. The inhale will happen naturally. And this is also really engaging our deepest layer of abs. So equivalent to doing literally crunches here. Uh, if you just really keep the integrity in the navel. Don't think about how fast you're going or try to match my pace or think that faster is better. Really get the navel snapping back to the spine. This is like free Pilates too, right? In Pilates, they're trying to engage the deepest transverse abdominis. You can do that yourself if you get really effective with breath of fire. It saves a lot of time uh, and money. Keep it going about another 30 seconds here. Notice if the arms have started to droop, take them back in line with the shoulders. We're toning the arms here as well. We're also stimulating the meridian lines in the arms that lead into the heart chakra so we can have big open hearts for ourselves and our families. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Two, one, hold the breath in at the top, bring the thumbs to touch above the head, draw the pelvic floor up and in, draw the navel up and in, dip the chin, retain the breath as long as you can, so you're just gently holding the breath in as long as comfortable for you. When you need to exhale, take the hands down, index finger and thumb touch, just notice how you feel. how the biceps feel, notice how the heart feels, abs feel. Notice how your energy feels. We'll stay here together in silence, just about two to three minutes. Resist any urge to fidget or turn off the video. Just stay with the silence, the stillness. You don't have to do anything right now except just sit here and breathe.
Take a deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth, stick out the tongue. <sighs> deep breath in. Exhale. <sighs> Last time, deep breath in. Let go of something that isn't serving you. <sighs> Good, bring the hands to prayer at heart center. Thank yourself for taking this time, for coming to your mat, for making space for your practice. And honor your body and all that it can do for you. And we'll end by rolling up together to close standing. So just place the hands on the mat, straighten the legs, come into a forward fold. One last little extra stretch in the back of the legs. Crown of head points directly down. You can hold opposite elbows, just tractioning out the spine, maybe feeling a stretch in the backs of the legs. Bend the knees. Roll up to stand, one vertebra at a time. Head is last thing to come up. You can face me if you want. Inhale, reach the arms up. Draw the hands to prayer at heart center. Deep breath in and out, and we'll end with a long sat, short nam. You can listen or join. Deep breath in. Sat nam. Thank you for practicing with me today, mamas. From my heart to yours. Namaste. Let me know if you enjoyed this sequence and how you're feeling now as you go out into the rest of the day. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below and I'd love to know how many kiddos you have at home uh, and how old they are. Share with me in the comments below so we can all connect and I hope you enjoyed this short practice. From my heart to yours, namaste.